Gradle 7.5 has just dropped, so let's run through the top five features to help Java developers, just like yourself, to improve your build process. Let's get right into it. The first thing you need to know is how do you actually update Gradle? Well, that's super easy thanks to the wrapper task. So you run Gradle W, wrapper, dash dash, Gradle dash version, and then the new version. And that will update your Gradle wrapper configuration so that it automatically downloads the new Gradle version. So what can we expect from this version? Well, Gradle 7.5 now supports Java 18, and that's for both running Gradle itself and compiling and running any applications that you're building within Gradle. If you like to stay up to date with the latest and greatest with Java, then check out the link to the Oracle release notes in the description. But I think it's fair to say that it's not the most exciting Java release, so let's move straight on. Speaking of Java versions, if you're using the Check Style plugin, you'll be pleased to know that it now uses the Java version from the Java toolchain. And if you've got no idea what I'm talking about, wait to the end because I'm going to provide a link to my 10 best Gradle plugins video where I talk about the Check Style plugin. Next up is a slightly more advanced topic, which is improved diagnostics for dependency resolution. I'm not going to dwell too long on this, but there are three things that are worth pointing out. The first two are to do with variants. If you run the outgoing variants task, there's a lot of improvements in the output here to make it easy to understand. If you run the dependency insights task, you'll also see an improved tablet layout for the variants. And there's a brand new task, Resolvable Configuration, to show you, well, configurations that are resolvable. It's good to see that the Gradle team are continuing to add features that make it easier to understand what's going on in our build. Next up are improvements to a feature called Continuous Build. If you haven't used this before, it's a way of running your Gradle build continuously in the background. The way it works is that you kick off your build and Gradle is constantly monitoring your file system for any changes. So for example, if you make a change to production code or test code, it's gonna recompile your classes and rerun your tests. And in this 7.5 release, the Gradle team have made this feature more responsive to file changes. Nice. Finally here are improvements to a feature that I think is gonna become increasingly important called configuration cache. Now the Gradle build lifecycle is split into three phases. There's initialization, configuration and execution. And configuration is essentially running your build script and understanding how all your tasks link together. For very large projects with complex configuration, this can take a very long time. And if you enable the configuration cache, it means that the configuration state is saved between builds, so you can essentially skip the configuration phase. Now, during some testing I did of a multi-project build with 500 sub-projects, I did notice a difference, but it was very small because the configuration phase itself was pretty small. But maybe you're working in projects where this really could make a big improvement. And in Gradle 7.5, the team have made various improvements, including migrating more core plugins to the configuration cache mechanism, such as the Kotlin DSL plugin. Oh, by the way, I'd love to know if any of these features are interesting to you. Is there anything here that's enticing you to upgrade to Gradle 7.5? Let me know in the comments down below. Whether you've just started using Gradle or you're a more advanced user, hopefully there was something here in this latest release to interest you. One thing's for sure, with this build tool, there's always something else to learn. And one topic which I'm frequently asked about is multi-project builds. To ensure you're using multi-project builds in the most effective way possible, why not check out my free course, Gradle Multi-Project Masterclass? Just click the link right here.